So with that, I'd like to start with Chris. Okay, good. Give us a few minutes. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Brown, and I'm a Republican candidate for the state rep district of the 97th district. It encompasses the Melville area, which is basically from Highway 270 down to the Merrimack, uh, to, uh, the Merrimack River, and between the borders of Highway 21 and Tesson Ferry. It's the, pretty much a rough guideline of the boundaries. And myself, I, I am a lifelong resident of St. Louis County. I grew up in Afton, and I attended Bayless High School. Throughout my entire school year, I went to Bayless. And I've also went on to uh, UMSL, received my associate degree in uh, <coughs> business administration, and then on to the University of Missouri, St. Louis, where I received a public policy degree with minors in communications and business administration. I have been uh, active with Republican politics for a while as a grassroots activist. I've been working for many campaigns over the years. I started out working against uh, someone, almost everyone in this room, I think, would agree that we, we disliked, which was Dick Gephardt. I started on a campaign in my, straight out of high school and uh, worked with him. And I've been working for conservative causes and conservative candidates ever since. My, uh, I'm married. I have uh, three children. My daughter, Alexis, attends St. Elizabeth's High School in the city. Um, she's a sophomore there. My son is a seventh grader at Washington Middle School here in the Melville School District. And I have a four-year-old daughter that will be starting preschool here in the fall. Uh, unfortunately, we're not, we're not able to join me this evening because of homework commitments. Uh, they've got to make sure they get this, that done first, uh, education's first. So uh, uh, I've been involved with the Tesson Ferry Republican Club for over four years as a, a member of the board. I've served in capacities as membership vice president for the last two years, a membership um, a member of the board for a year, and also as uh, the vice president, which is in charge of the speakers for the, for the organization. As far as uh, other activities I've been involved with, um, I've been very active with a group called the Missouri Republican Assembly. A lot of folks uh, may think that it's the state party, but it's not. This, the Republican Assembly is a conservative-based Republican organization. We got involved here in Missouri in 1996 working to make sure the Republican Party realized their candidates need to support the grassroots activist folks that write the state platform. We would fight it out every year, get in the conservative platform, and I was honored to be involved with several people in this room with the Republican Assembly and holding our candidates to that. So I'm really excited about seeing what's going on in the country right now because, not because of the turmoil that we're in because of Obama, but because of the fact we have so many people getting active right now, out there fighting for the right causes. And I, I really look forward to uh, having you folks join the campaign, help me out in that aspect. And, um, and final, finally, the opportunity to run as a candidate is something that I hadn't really thought about for many years, but it was until I uh, spoke with uh, a friend of mine that a lot of us in this room know, Catherine Hannaway. When I spoke to her in June of 2004, her and I were involved in the JCs together, and we, we indicated that it's great to see people active, but she told me, Chris, you really need to step forward and take a lead. Real leaders are not just the grassroots activists. They need to step forward. And with that, I took her advice and decided that I was going to run for state rep here in this open seat this year. And I look forward, forward to it, and I look forward to being the opportunity to be a servant of the people of the 97th District.